the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. Man, I, 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 I own the hill. If it's just preaching to myself, the fact is that God is, has a word for every last one of us. And, and, and I, I, I encourage you, like I said, the winter church service this week. Uh, we had this study on Sunday, and we went to church service on Sunday, and the man of God was, the Holy Spirit was using a man of God to talk to you. Glory to God. I'm telling you, he's talking to us all the time because we need it, you know. And, and so what I had this week, we talked about uh, the unforgiving uh, servant. And, and, and the, the question I had for you, the title for this study, which is started with a question. And here's the question right here. Check this out. <laughs> it says, <laughs> the title is, How Can You Be Judgmental With All That Debt? That's those last two lines in this slide. The bottom line. How can you be judgmental toward other people, really, with all that debt? And when we talk about debt, we talk about sin. And so I'm trying to say is that we really need to work on working our own salvation. That's what the scripture says. Work out your own salvation. And, and let's not be judgmental to one another. But let's stop trying to sit there encouraging one another. Because we all need encouragement. We don't need to walk in condemnation. We need to walk in forgiveness. We need to walk in grace. We need to walk in mercy. He gave us mercy. He gave us grace. We should give one another grace. That's the, that's the gist of the, of the stuff, topic this week. Give mercy to one another. Forgive one another. Because that is what he wants us to do. That is what he did for us. God so loved the world, John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And we use the Lord's Prayer and we talk about it in the Lord's Prayer that he forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt towards. We have to be able to give, forgive one another. Because we walk in together. And most of us have accumulated debt prior to coming to the kingdom. And we accumulate debt in the kingdom. Some of you sit there and act like you don't. You're lying. But the Bible says in John, we put that in our title today, that if you say you're not in sin, you are a liar. Because we know the scripture said all of sin comes short of so this study is about the fact that don't be judgmental one another, but let's encourage one another to do right. Let's encourage one another to change. Let's encourage one another, but give each other grace and mercy. That's the gospel, and that's what you're called to do. Give mercy. Give mercy to one another. Love one another. Preach the good news, not the bad news. You, you're not called to hurt somebody. You're called to love one another. Amen. God bless you. I hope you like this message. We'll break it down into part A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish it. But you'll love it because I love it. And I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you. And we'll see you. Enjoy the video. You're worthy in the first place. Your grace is your salvation, your eternal life is a gift from God, a mercy of grace from God. So what will you do? We move forward by just not being so judgmental toward one another. 
That's the that's, that's the message. It's not being so judgmental, but loving one another. Because he said to love one another. Maybe we forget that. And we don't teach it as much. Because we still want to teach fire and brimstone, but you deserve to go as well. You deserve it because you make mistakes. When you sin, or when you get into sin, what, what, what do you say to yourself? You that are judgmental. What do you say to yourself? You know what you say to yourself? Oh God. That's what you're saying. But you have a you have this audacity to go after somebody else. You have the audacity to think that you're righteous when you're not. And when I'm talking about the history, I'm talking about the fact that when you look at the this go all the way back to the history of the beginning of slave trades, the transatlantic trade, slave trade. When we knew that people was taken, you know, human trafficking, taking people by force from another country. And on top of that, those who were still in the country was being colonized, colonized in, you know, the colonial period, where they were being uh, exported, <laughs> hurt, brutalized. Hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. And then the, I'm talking about for us in the Christianity now, the trans, the trans, the, the trans uh, Atlantic slavery, the, the, the brutality, the inhumanity that was done to the people. And then to sit there, and they had a one guy, a Pope, Pope Nicholas V, to sit there and say, these people are not coming under the grace of God. A Christian, somebody who said they are in Christ Jesus, said that people that were being in the slave trade, or the American, or the Native Americans in this country, or in South America, even the people who were Christian Columbus thought he, he landed in India, called the people <laughs> Indians, because he thought he was in India. The brutality that happened to those people by this man who said he conquered, discovered, discovered. Listen, you people, people sit there and said they discovered a land where you had millions of people. They said I discovered. No one is wrong. You know why you know it's wrong? Let me sit there and go to your car and say I discovered it. Even if you sit in the car, I'm saying I discovered the car. You'd be mad, won't you? Matter of fact, you call you call you ask for the police to help you out because you said is how can you discover my car when I'm in the car? But that's that's the that's the equivalent of two it is it? And then they put the people in slavery to make them dig gold. People who, who greeted you were willing to give the shirt off their back. That's, that's historically what that's what Columbus. Willing to give his, their clothes off their backs to him. He even wrote it in a diary. And yet he turned on. Brutalized. Basically killed them. Exploited them. And you say you're a Christian. Any nation that was sitting there endorsing that, any nation was sitting there funding that, calling themselves a Christian nation, and you did the atrocity. And it's not just the history back with Christopher Columbus, it's the history in the slave trade, it's the history of the, the crusade. And I see why people want to ban books. They're not banning the books to, to say that there's an indoctrination. They're banning the books because it gives a historical perspective of the bad deeds that the, par the parents did. You know, so I'm trying to sit there and say is that you, we, we have to move away from being judgmental. We need to move into the fact of recognizing that, you know, I, I, I need grace. But I need to give grace. I need mercy, and I need to give mercy. You receive mercy. You receive grace through Christ. Then do the same as well. 
that's what God is looking for. So and, and we got look at Brother Addison and the sign in. And 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 we want to make sure uh, that that we'll bring them up to speed real quick. But the bottom line is I'm telling you people, you must be saved. And as a person saved, you must give the same mercy and grace towards your brother and sister as you receive. You must do that too. The brother and sister I'm talking about is the same ungodly people that receive Christ. Hey, brother, you hear me? Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. Man, I gotta. I gotta. Uh, Interesting conversation that I was carrying on with anybody that's listening. And I, I want to show with you, share with you here. And then you can ride with it. Most people can ride with this all day long because it's, it's a truthism. Mm -hmm. it, it, it could be a uh, back to back, Chris Batson ism, uh, Addison ism, uh, and definitely a Kevin Taylor ism, but it's the, it's the gospel. The question is, and we talked about many times before, something is how can you be judgmental with all that debt? And and, and I was talking uh, when you were coming up, what said is that the people that got involved with the crusade, the Spanish Inquisition, the transatlantic slave, the, the slavery itself, the Jim Crow laws itself, I'm using those as, as, as good reference points of people who call themselves believers, but yet they not only judge somebody as, as demon, unsaved, whatever, and then apply the atrocities against those people. You know, you, you, but you call yourself a Christian. You even plant the flag as a Christian. We even sent missionaries in first <laughs> to, to a nation, preaching, talking about the gospel. And then the, the people that you, the country that you came from, Rome, <laughs> and, and, and conquered the people and put them in slavery. And, and it was brutal to those people. The, 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 you know, even Hitler was called himself, I think he called the Third Reich, right? The coming of the Third Reich. And, and, and the book, that, that's something dealing with Christianity. Mm -hmm. And they tried to, they, they, what do you call it, industrialized killing over six million people because they think it was doing it for God. They think they were doing it as a Christian. And, and you, you see it today, modern day, you're talking about, hey, you, you are evangelicals out there. What, how do you square with associating yourself with hate groups and think that you're on the right side, you're on a moral compass, you're on the, you, you, you're on the side of Christ. You, 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 you're demonstrating the, the doctrine of Christ. You know, I was telling them earlier what John 3, 6, John, no, nah, nah, well, we use John 3, 16 first. John 3, 16 said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish. But the fact is that he gave, he loved the world and he gave his son to save the world, to redeem people from the world. That, that, that's the love of God. Not because those people deserve it, not because anybody deserves it. It's because it's the love of God that did it. And then Christ gave those who call themselves, those who are so-called Christians, he gave a new commandment in John 13, 34. This made it throughout, I'm just using that as my reference point. He said, a, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you love one another. Verse 35 said, men would know that you are the same for the love that you have for one another. That's, that's the people, that's the gist of the gospel. 
And, the, and I said earlier, all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. If all of sin and all are sinning in some form or fashion because we came in ungodly and we have different issues, why do we want to judge you? Condemn one another. Why do you want to condemn yourself? And then you move away from the gospel. You move away from ministry because you condemn yourself. I'm sorry. That that is not, that dog is not going to hunt. You are a child of God. You're supposed to be able to give mercy because you receive mercy. You're supposed to give love because you receive love. You're supposed to give grace because you receive grace. That's what my type of topic is all about. It's the fact is that how can you be judgmental? And even when I'm saying that, I said earlier, how can you be judgmental toward other people, condemning other people, ostracizing other people, and then at the same time, even you, what do you do when you make a mistake? And I know you will make a mistake. And I know you've made a mistake. What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to condemn yourself? Are you supposed to say, I'm, I'm, you know, God through with you, I'm through with you? That what you that's that's what you think is supposed to happen. <clears throat> no. So that's the topic. How can you be judgmental with all that debt? Not talking about the debt of sin. And did you know that the way to the sin is death? Did you did you know that? Maybe you didn't know that. Well, I know that. And I know most of those who are mature in the body knows that. The way to the sin is death. So stop trying to be so righteous and sanctimony and, and, and judgmental to other people when you 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 both should be judging yourself as well. I think the scripture said, for what measure you met, it will be measured unto you. So, so don't use the, the, the don't, don't watch what you do, because you will find yourself being judged as well. And you will be condemned for the things and the, 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 the measuring stick that you have opposed to the grace <laughs> that you have. You have grace. <laughs> you have grace. <laughs> That's the gospel. You have grace. Ooh, you have grace. So with that, let's go ahead and go into the uh, the, the the grace, the Lord's. We call it the Lord's prayer. And 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 let's let's go with that first, right? Let's look at that because that that's that is a. I call it a reminder's prayer. Is is how I look at it. It's a reminder's prayer uh, of what we're supposed to be doing daily. It's a reminder's prayer of what we're supposed to be doing daily. Amen? So let's look at that. There's my title again saying, how can you be judgmental with all that debt? Right? And I don't know, man. I, I don't know about you, but I got a lot of debt. <laughs> okay. Look at, the, look at the scriptures here. Let's just start with the fact is that... Christ, Yeshua, gave us a pattern, a, a manner of how to pray daily. He, he gave us that. And let's use that to, to understand that we're not supposed to be condemning one another, but we need to be able to be graceful toward one another, forgiving one another uh, as we're being forgiven. Now, I see you, brother. You keep working. I'm going to keep on. You know me. I'm just going to keep going, right? And yeah. Join me yeah. as you go. Amen. So what I first time I said, how can you be judgmental? And then I'm saying is he gave us a, a pattern, a manner of how to pray to remind us not to be judgmental <laughs> toward one another. And, and so therefore, in Matthew 6, starting in verse 9, it says, after this manner, therefore, pray ye. Meaning, he said, I did not ask you, I'm not telling you to do this verbatim. I'm just saying in this manner, when you do pray, pray in this, this manner, this form, using these patterns. First of all, when you pray, you, you're addressing the Father in heaven. Uh, even Christ said, this, said, ask in my name, but you're asking who? The Father in my name. So your prayer should be toward the Father. So he said, our Father, which are in heaven, I will be thy name. 
Meaning you even coming in glorifying him, knowing that he's almighty God. Talk about the creator of heaven and earth. Talk about the person who created you and everything else. He said, our Father, which are in heaven. And you put a very clear um, address to, I'm talking about the Father in heaven. I ain't talking about the devil. I ain't talking about man. I ain't talking about a political party. I'm talking to him. And that's why I think even if we do the reminders prayer, is remind yourself who you supposed to trust in first. That kingdom come. Even the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Therefore, he's reminding you that you want the kingdom of God to be in you. Now, this is where I think a lot of us people that are going to listen to this sooner or later is the fact that it said, thy will be done. Not your political body, not your mama, not your daddy, not your brother, not your sister, not your group, but his will. Now, those groups in their in their will, if their action line up with his will, that's a different story. But the measure step of the advice that we get from one another has to be in accordance to his will. So you want to be, that's what he said, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. So we want to, he reminded us to look for the will of God in earth, which is the same will of God in heaven. Give us this day. I love this point in the Lord's Prayer because it implies that he's not talking about yesterday. He's not talking about tomorrow. He's talking about the day. So this, is, this is a reminder daily. And that's what it said. Give us this day our daily bread. Mm -hmm. His daily bread is the word of God. And it is to be applied in your life daily. That's why we study and show some fruit, people. Because if you don't, you're going to be led off in the wrong direction with people who judge and condemn other people when they know that they have sinned themselves. You know, I was asking somebody, brother, asked when you came in, is if we be so judgmental toward other people, when we, when you make a mistake, what do you do with that judgmental attitude toward yourself? And, and then I think a lot of cases, people uh, run, hide, condemn themselves, leave the church, once they found their own judgment, their own mistakes, I'm sitting there saying is, you, you need to just remind yourself that his will is for us to conform to his image. And that takes time. He said, and forgive us of our debt. That's what, and that's the title of saying, how can you be judgmental with all that debt? Now, you, you right when it comes from, you see the words that are coming out of my mouth. The words of the last <laughs> scripture, how he said is, forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt towards. That, that, there's, a, there's, a, there's a two factor here, isn't it? Factor one is, you have debt. Now, I, I know there's some other people out there that don't think they have debt. That's your first problem. Because scripture said all the sin that comes short of the glory of God. The Bible says that. So therefore you have debt. And it's possible that you are accumulating debt. That's why he's telling you daily. <laughs> mm -hmm. In this matter of prayer. Lord, forgive me of my debt. Whatever debt you may have. Some of you got debt of, of envy jealousy and strife and all the works of the flesh. There's some category that may fit you. Uh, but if you don't think you you had any debt from yesterday, uh, well, God bless you. I, I think you're good. I, matter of fact, brother, I think we they should get a trophy. If, if, if I don't they, know what that is, yeah, but... <laughs> if, they, if they made it through the day and, and did not accumulate debt, and we talk about the way to sin is death. If you if you made it through the day, God bless you. 
But I think he set this matter of how to pray is because you, you probably need to go to him. I ain't talking about other people. You don't need other people. You don't need other people forgiveness. You need him. And to say, forgive me. You forgive us of our debts. As we forgive our debt to him. The basis of saying is, if I don't, how I forgive other people is how I'm going to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Lead us not into temptation. I, I agree. <laughs> Uh, you don't want to be led into temptation, but you know, in this world, you 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 do stumble into temptation. You 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 walk into temptation. Uh, yeah, I don't think a lot of kids you led into temptation. You 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 go there willingly, you know, <laughs> into temptation. I do. Then there's some things that that I he either beset me that I, I I didn't find myself as a surprise on how I got there. Uh, I got there because I chose to go there. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, yeah. If somebody who, if nobody will have adultery and wake up in a bed and say, how did I get here? <laughs> yeah. How did, how did I get here? <laughs> now, now, I, I understand that people, when you fall into those dick rapes and all that other stuff, like drug use, you didn't know what happened until uh, somebody reminded you or filmed you. I heard some people doing that sometimes. But, in most cases, uh, you you willingly went there. In most cases, but there are people who have been drunk. We you agree with that? That's, that's a different story. Uh, but still, the fact is that you you need to be able to go back to the Lord's prayer. The Lord, whatever I did, whatever, whatever drugs I was taking, <laughs> whatever happened, or whether I'm drunk or not, forgive me of my debts. And, and because I went into temptation. I need to be forgiven for those things that I failed the test on. Because that's what temptation is, right? It's, it's a test. So lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And that's that's what we want, is to be delivered from the evil of this world. We want to be delivered from things that try to destroy us, kill us, or kill one another. So we want to be delivered from evil. But we did he wrap it up and said, for thine is the kingdom again. Meaning his kingdom is above all other kingdoms. And and his glory is above all other glory. So thine is the kingdom and his power. There's a lot of people out there seeking and love power. We all do in some form or fashion. But if that power is not geared toward the power, if that power is not geared toward his will, then that power is useless and destructive and deceitful but his power and his glory is, is what you want to do a lot of us get stuck in the bottom trying to get their own glory i think when you talk about even racism you know white superiority or black superiority and no superiority is is trying to glorify self and, and and once again he's saying is i need to remind you daily to glorify god I even start the prayer off the Lord, thank God. And I want you to understand it's his kingdom and it's his power that makes a difference. Because nobody in this world can put you in hell. No one in this world can put you in heaven. Only the power of God and the mercy of God and the grace of God. Amen? Oh, before I go, don't forget, subscribe, man. A woman, <laughs> if you like the video, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. If you like it, you want to make a comment, go ahead and do that as well. Let us get right. Let's make sure we're doing the thing that makes a difference and preaching the gospel we feel called to do the commission. But to give energy and to keep building up on this platform, subscribe. And also make a comment if you like it. If you don't like it, go ahead and do that too. It's all right. I'd rather hear from you. And that's all I'm, I'm called to do what he told me to do. So God bless you, and I'll see you later. God bless. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.